Hello, it's Olimik. In today's video, we're gonna be installing oil catch can on this 2008 Toyota Camry to keep the intake valves and the piston head clean. I also installed on two different cars before and showed the result after a month of installing. So if you are interested, check the result before installing oil catch can on your car. The video will be in the description box below and YouTube card if you wanna check it out. So I found this oil catch can on AliExpress for 17 bucks by the time I am making this video. Whenever you wanna buy oil catch can, make sure it has this strainer plate to separate the oil from oil vapor and this filter to stop the oil from entering intake manifold. Pretty much the installation very easy, but before doing that, let's remove the ports and the bottom bolt first so we can apply Teflon to prevent from leaking air. Because it will be on a vacuum line, any air leak will cause the engine's RPM goes higher and having check engine light on. The inlet and outlet ports are hard plastic, so make sure you don't over tight them, otherwise they will break. But so far I haven't break any. The first thing I always do after installing the ports and the bottom canister, thinking about a good spot for fastening the bracket, it has to be a cold zone of the engine, so the oil condensate in the canister and not too far from PCV valve, otherwise you have to use a long hose. We're gonna need a piece of hose for the inlet port, two hose clamps, self-tapping screw which came with the oil catch can and I would like to use thread locker to prevent from getting loose. So let's go ahead and remove the engine cover to have a better idea where we're gonna install the hoses. So the factory hose will be connected to the outlet port and we're gonna need a hose from inlet to the PCV valve. According to the spot I'm installing oil catch can, this has to be flat and applying some thread lockers to the screws to prevent from getting loose. Alright, both screws are on. I'm gonna use Allen key and fasten the top bracket after adjusting the port's direction. Next, removing PCV hose. It's a good time to remove PCV valve while the cover and the hoses are removed. So I'm gonna be using some carb cleaner and clean the trapped oil from PCV valve, which will minimize that problem after installing oil catch can. Okay, the PCV valve is clean now. You should be able to hear steel bolt sound inside. So we're gonna put it back and then the hoses. Next, we're gonna be installing inlet hose. One end will be on the inlet port of the oil catch can and the other end on the PCV valve. So here is the final assembly. The oil vapor will exit from PCV valve and enters oil catch can and separates the oil and then enters intake manifold. Your hose installation should not be exactly like mine here because inlet and the outlet ports are different on some oil catch cans, depends on the brand and the model. So pay attention on the inlet and the outlet ports of the oil catch can, from PCV to inlet of the oil catch can and from outlet of the oil catch can to the intake manifold. So that's for this video, hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.